Let's take a look at the interface. You power the camera on by pressing on the front button. And now it's ready to record by pressing the shutter button. Now you can see it's recording in 4K 24 FPS as stated here on the display and you see the time ticking. Under the time you can see how much recording time you have left as well as you can see how much battery time you have left. When the battery icon starts to flash then the camera will shut off itself within 10 seconds but also store the latest video so you won't lose the last video that you record. To stop the recording I press once again at the shutter button. Now we maybe want to change some settings or some modes. So I, if I want to take a photo, press there. Now I can take a photo. I can take a time lapse or go into the general setting menu. So now we are in the setting menu and what you see here are the general th settings that will apply to all modes and you just step through them with this front button. So you can also shut off the lamp so you don't have any LED lamp when you record or you can turn off the sound. On the top part of this menu, if I go back, I just loop through one turn. Uh, you have the Wi-Fi connectivity. So if you would like to uh, put the Wi-Fi on, then you can just press the shutter button. And here you have the selections for if you want to uh, use the GoPro app or the remote control. But now I would like to go back so just yes, step down to back here and press the shutter button. And in the end of the, this menu, as well as any other menu, you will find exit. That takes you back to the last step. In this case, video mode. But if we instead want to change settings for the video mode, I press here. Now you can see that you can change the video settings. Now it's set to 4K, 24 FPS and wide field of view. If I want to change it, I just press this front button, step down to 4K now and press the shutter button and then you can see the different video modes. So now it's for example 1080 super view which means that it's uh, basically a 4-3 view but it's compressed down to a widescreen view if you want the usual mode now it's just 1080 without the S so I would like to keep that so I just go down here and find the exit and the same thing applies for any other mode. So if I go here in photo mode, I can again press this setting button. And now I'm within the settings for the photography mode. I go down to the bottom and exit. So this is a really easy menu system. Three buttons, easy to use and the buttons are also quite big, so I don't feel like any problem at all to pressing them. If they would have been a little bit smaller, maybe it would have been hard for my fingers to go down, as you have these edges around. But the edges are good because they are also protective, so they are needed. To shut the camera off, you just hold this front button. And when it flashes, it powers off. If you would like to compare the Hero 4 Black Edition to the Hero 3 Black Edition, or maybe just see what's in the box when you buy the Hero 4, then you can check out the links below.
but don't forget, comment and subscribe for more.